an appointment with yourself. As time moves on and I find myself busy during the holiday season, I pause to reflect that I too have to be in touch with who I am and not just what I need to do. As it is a time to celebrate during this festive time of year, I decide to celebrate myself. A time for giving first to myself so that I am full to give to others. Am I being selfish through my inward desire? My question is to you, how can I give to others if I don't fuel up myself? Imagine a vehicle moving you through to your destination. How will the vehicle move you if it is not taken care of or even fueled with gas? Therefore, I need the spiritual patrol to keep my inner light lit. We use a lot of different energies to look after our physical image, our bodies, But where will the peace, love, happiness, or kindness come from? What about patience and satisfaction? To meet myself means to empower myself to give myself a chance to relax, to come back to a space of truth. To meet myself means I choose to connect with my inner light, my latent potential, my innate goodness. Where light radiates, where goodness lives, the host as well as those who visit benefit from the atmosphere and positive vibes my house provides. However, there is a secret chamber a space within my own consciousness 
where only beauty and true power live. This sacred space is there for me only, and I need to go there to recharge. Tapping within my sacred chamber, I consciously choose to be in contact with my inner truth, the light that I am. I remember my essence, my pure light of peace love, strength, joy, and bliss. I feel so relaxed and beautiful. I feel empowered, uplifted. Yes, the beauty of my essence is unlimited. It is there to be shared with everyone who crosses my way, with nature and animals. My inner self, the living being in this body, is invisible to the eyes of the body, the eyes of the world. The conscious, self-aware, living being that I am, charges my body and everything I do through my body with the inner light of peace or joy. When I give time to meet myself, I consciously choose to go beyond. I go beyond useless or even disturbing words, the need of constantly meeting or talking to someone. I go beyond the urge of constantly doing something, of being busy all the time. I even leave behind the company of wasteful, unnecessary thinking and the constant chatter of my mind. When I have an appointment with myself, that is when I temporarily go beyond all those influences. I dive deep inside, right to my essence. I have an aim, the aim to meet my true self. In that inner quiet and still space, that is where the meeting takes place. I am me, pure.
pure, pristine, truth, peace, love, joy, bliss, beauty, strength, and wisdom. These are my pure, true energies. In this sacred space, I feel full and complete, completely satisfied. Through this appointment, I honor myself. I honor who I am. Any other feelings for myself are rooted in falsehood and ignorance. The truth is that I have the right to be here. I am capable and I am utmost lovable. I have the right to this pure, true, unlimited love. I cannot get this love from the outside. Nothing from the outside can fill me anyway. This is the big illusion, the ignorance we have fallen in. Falling in love means I fall right into darkness. It is like a black hole consumes me. love and the supreme power God himself is the source of that love connecting to the source my sleeping potential reawakens I become alive again Alive to who I am and what I am. When I take few moments to honor myself, even the atmosphere of my home gets charged with a powerful energy. As I clean it up and sort out my physical home, the atmosphere becomes clean too. That is where holiday cheer lives throughout the year. And not only for the holiday season, By focusing on myself through my daily appointments, I am building a sanctuary within. Then, I check that my inner space remains clean. This way, I am becoming strong and full of love. As I prepare during this holiday time to provide 
unconditional love and light to my loved ones, I also make a plan to spread these vibes to many others who are in need. I put in my imagination that I am a sun who radiates positive vibes to all, including nature. My home is available to the weary just as long as I keep my appointments with myself and God. As I reflect on my appointments with myself, I challenge my inner self to find ideas, to manifest in the outer world, so that others can benefit from my appointments with myself as well. Through my appointment schedule, I continue to grow and assess my progress. Where I am now, but better yet, where can I be tomorrow? Honoring myself in this way, there is enthusiasm and eagerness to see everyone's virtues and make them content. This is my gift to the world.